Hello guys, so in this video, I'll show you how you can uh, create a new project using Spring CLI. So there are many ways, actually two or three ways. You can create a new project uh, with new Spring Boot project. Either you can go to Spring Initializer, okay, at, at start at spring.io and do your, your configuration here. Or if you are using something like IntelliJ, you can have that process integrated into the IDE. So I'm not using IntelliJ. Um, recently, I switch, switched from IntelliJ to this uh, VS Code, uh, VS Codium. So yeah, I need to get used to uh, the new way of working with uh, Java project. So there's a new thing, not uh, not very new, but a new way you can use to create a new Spring project, Spring module, in my case here, that is use the Spring CLI. So uh, first you need to install Spring CLI and there's a nice tutorial here you can follow you can either download the binary file or if you are using a mac like me you can use homebrew which i just did i will leave this uh, url in the description so you can follow how to install that in uh, on your system or in your system okay so i have spring cli installed if I type spring and hit enter, then I see the list of commands here. So usually when creating a new uh, spring, uh, spring Boot project, I would need to have the package, usually to my domain name, the description and the application name, also the dependencies. So, um, Let's see how you can uh, pass uh, those information to the Spring CLI program so you can uh, start creating a new project. Let me see one example here, which I used to create a new project, right? So this Spring init, the dependencies are web and Lombok. And where to get the list of dependencies, I will show you later in the video. And the name of the application, that would be the name of your application, very obvious. This is the name uh, of the Java file. You will see uh, later, it will, you will use it to run the application. So the description would be the description of the project. This will uh, you will see this in the Maven file. And the build, you can either use Gradle or Maven. I use Maven here. And package name, very important. So uh, I said to com dot my domain dot logging and this is the folder. So if I hit enter and very quickly the pro project was created. And this is the new folder. And let's explore the, the source code and you can see that uh, everything works so nicely. So this is, as mentioned, this is a logging tutorial and it will be appended with application.java here. Go to the POM. Obviously, I have the logging tutorial, the description here. And I didn't specify the Java version, but I believe that if I want to use Java 21, that would be possible with the CLI too. And the dependencies are here. So as I mentioned, how to get the list of dependencies to add to your CLI. So let me remove. Yep. Um, Spring init list. 
and here you can see that the parameters here this these are the list of parameters so let's see let's see the documentation is very nice you can have the artifact id demo default and there's default value here and java version default to 17 and as i mentioned you can set it this to 11 21 if you like or whatever and the list of dependencies is here let's me let me um, scroll up a little bit and here the support the dependencies so for example i would like to have um, uh let's see what is that data data gpa then i would put that but probably i would have uh, yeah let's try data gpa and jpa and a2 so let's test my command again so this time i have data gpa and a2 and let's try with uh, let's see language level equal 21 so oh it seems i made an error so probably i have to add the dash dash here language level so not recognize my bad spring init list let's see java version so yeah let's try this one more time java version great and it's working okay so we have the pom file here open Locking tutorial. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't specify the the version, so it is default. I have the package here, I believe. Also, I can uh, change this group ID if I want. So we have a two here and Lombok and Spring Data JPA. So that's it. Uh, I think this is very. Uh, this is a very convenient way to start a new project with this CLI. So hopefully the video has been helpful and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.